Hello everyone and welcome back to Froten House channel. This is me, your truly Pavel Ingelevich, and I'm here to talk about how to create a service page that actually converts. So without any, fur any further ado, let's roll the intro. You might be wondering why doesn't your service page converts, creates any leads and um, you think maybe that you have a very nice looking website and uh, somebody helps you with it, you took care of it and still nothing happens. So I'll give you a few tips that might help you with that. So the tip number one is to show your reputation. So basically, when we look at the website and then uh, on the certain page, uh, we look for a certain information. So if, for example, a customer is uh, trying to decide whether or not they want to work with you, they will for sure check also who were you working for before that or who did you cooperate with. That's why it is very important to just show what clients did you actually have. So the bigger names, the better. Like, for example, any logo that some people might know is better than the completely unknown company. Like like myself in my hoodie, I have a Witcher logo and some people might know that. So this is again, uh, maybe with you. Uh, when you look at Figma, for example, they show that the Microsoft or IBM are using their software and uh, a lot of other companies are also doing it too. So one of the first things you should actually think of is showing off your reputation. Show what clients did you work with before, the bigger names, the better. Uh, people will then know that you are simply a trustworthy that you already have worked with certain clients, maybe even from their own field, so they know that you might know uh, how to help them. If you do not have uh, clients, then they, you didn't have any like big name clients or you're just starting out, then this, this I know this might be a problem, but then it is important that you could show also why should they work with you even though you do not have like many experience or maybe that you just don't have a lot of clients. So then it's important to look at your case studies. It's the second point I want to talk about, which is showing off also your work. What did you do before? How did you tackle a certain problem? So yeah, a lot of people think that the better images, the better quality images, the better. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, this is true. When you show your work and people see, oh my God, this looks amazing and, and stuff like this, then yeah, this will work for a certain amount of people. But those more experienced ones, we actually know that, okay, this looks nice, but are you actually able to solve my problem? Which is why just showing the graphical uh, images of your work isn't enough. It's always a good idea to put a very well written case study of what challenges did you face? How did you solve them? How did you tackle them? Uh, how was the cooperation going? Uh, what was some maybe mistakes even, but what was actually uh, a very good way of tackling a certain problem? How did you do that? This is very important for people to see because then they know, okay, this guy, he really like uh, solves like a big problem. So I think he might help me also with mine. That is why also if you, uh, besides, even if you have reputation, you should also create a case studies profile. But if you didn't have any clients and this is even more important to show off your work what did you do before because if you didn't do anything and you don't have any clients then probably you will not get new clients so you need actually to have some building portfolio that will show off your work and just um, show people how amazing you are at what you are doing that's why always remember to also keep a very good with written case studies on your page just for people to see on what's going on another topic that I wanted to discuss here today is also basically how we look at certain pages. So there will be some people who will read the entire page. They will read all the content that you have written. But for most of the people, they will just read the very, very top part. And I mean the very top part. So it's very important that whatever we are trying to sell, put it in a very right way, very like a short way and put it in a headline, write in a headline that, for example, complex IT solutions or something that will show the client, the potential client, what are you doing so they do not have to look for it. They know what you do by just reading the headline that you have there. And then they will get interested. Okay, I'm looking for a solution to my problem. They are IT company. They do that. So I want to check them out. So this is going a little below. And then 
the most important part is to write the most influential and most uh, mostly important stuff just below the headline because this is the part that people will actually read they will read it because even the more below you go the less people read trust me it's been researched it's been proven so you need to go and then write your very more the most important stuff right in the top so people can really kind of um, understand not only what you are doing but also get a better glimpse of how you might tackle their problems so remember to keep the important stuff on the top of the uh, on the top of your content on the web page another topic that uh, that i wanted to discuss also is the user experience so um user interface is very important to make it look pleasant make it look nice that people feel yeah okay they do nice stuff i like that but then again if your user experience on the page is bad then people won't actually like stay with you this is very important to create a layout that will suit your your users uh, needs so it's always a good idea to do market research to do clients research check what what things are people looking for what kind of target group this is how are they uh, how are they working on uh, very important your for example like a lot of young people are for now using a lot of like mobile phones so your app needs to be mobile friendly so user experience making your application mobile friendly is very important maybe the most important today because a lot of people are using actually like mobile phones the second is now for the time being a lot of people are using a videos because if you look at even instagram instagram turns from photos to videos a lot of people are using videos right now tiktok and everything people want to see what you can do for them even if like a 10-15 seconds video this is also important to go with the kind of like flow go with the trends the videos are very important today so also you can just maybe in your headline you could show a video that shows how you work maybe for example you are a tailor so you can have a very nice made video that shows how you work and people see okay i like it i like the approach like it's not the mass production is really nice this this tailor that the tailor tailor does uh, his own stuff by his hands so video can help you with that and turn some people into your uh, into your product into your services that's why it's also important to keep up with the trends and now the trend is the video basically record the video put it on your website and then uh, yeah, people will just uh, be amazed by it and if they are amazed then they will try to maybe work with you or at the very least they will uh, proceed further into a web page and then you have an opportunity to convince them to stay also in. Also, from the user experience point of perspective, it's very important to keep your website and uh, pages on it very quickly to load. If people will see that it's load, it's loading time is slow, they will probably just close the tab. Trust me on that. I think tap is like two seconds. If uh, if your application won't load in like if your website won't load in like 1.5 second, then you're lost. You need to do it even quicker. So very important also thing to keep in mind to keep loading times on your website very 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 extremely short really trust me on that again uh, consistency in writing if you do not have that experience it's always a good idea to hire a copywriter to help you write content on your website but it's also important to keep it consistent if you want to approach your clients in a more casual way then keep it casual on the entire website if you want to approach them in a more like formal manner also keep it across the website because if for example on your main page you are talking to your users in a formal way and then for example like in a in service page you change it to a more casual direct approach then this is confusing first you started with miss or mister or something like this like that and then then you are starting like more very more uh, direct and casual approach so consistency within copywriting is also very important what kind of language do you use is it more sophisticated or more simple so it's a good idea to keep it consistent and also again user experience target group are you talking with more like lawyers and judges or are you talking more with young people different language different approach and then you should try to be as adjusted to your users as possible thanks to that you will create sort of like a communication vibe that you might have with your client already on the website and then when uh, when the time comes for example to purchase or just to talk with you ask about your services um, people will have well the approach that you just have put it uh, have created on your website so you will also be able to then communicate with them on a much more uh, better ground sort of so consistency regarding copywriting is also very important again going back a little bit to showing off your work by this 
service page. What is the actually most important? Most important thing at service page that people are looking for is actually, are you able to solve their problems and uh, what exactly do you do? So the, those two things need to be like underlined every time they can. Like you need to keep it. I know I said it during the case studies and all of that, but still it's very important to keep in mind that people will look for the answers to those questions. You, might, you must show them that I am your best choice for the to, to find a solution to your problem, that I will help you with that. And I will do it by doing this, this and that. Showing off, for example, how, how you work, your process, uh, how you work, that maybe you, you workshop, you, you and it identify the problem, you discover, you do a product discovery workshop, then you work, for example, in Scrum, like, like it would be in IT, or maybe that, um, if you're a tailor, then, um, I'm making a suit, but by first I will talk with you, I will measure your arms and stuff like that, then, People know, okay, I know this guy knows his stuff. Because when you show people, not only because showing that you are the solution to their problem, to, to help them with their problem, is fairly easy. It's just more sales marketing stuff that you can do. But showing how you work shows them really like that you know your stuff. That you're not just some guy with a um, laptop or something uh, that just happens to be there no you are the the expert on this matter and you can help you can help them it's very important that they will convert that they will talk with you they will um, they will talk with you and uh, and they will finally want uh, to work with you so to do that they need to first go to service page and just be sure that you are the right person so thanks to having a service page that actually shows what you do and how you work what exactly is your process during that will make sure that people you know they will lose their doubts because a lot of them have doubts like i don't know if he should be like i have i want to spend a lot of money on this i'm not sure if he's the one so if people won't know what is it that you actually do and how you do it they might not convert they might think okay i'm not sure i will go with this guy because i've seen how he works i've seen it i've seen it on a video he explained his process on the on the page i want now to speak with him about the details how he could approach my problem if you won't show them that then they will be but yeah, they will have doubts and they might not convert in the end to you so yeah it would be a huge bummer that's why always keep in mind explain what you do how you do it so people may lose their doubts so people just lose their doubts and want to talk with you about the details also last but not the least keeping a blog or any articles that you might redirect people by your service page if they have any doubts anymore it's always a good idea because if you keep everything on a service page people may not read it as we read as i said mostly the top so if you for example list uh, some kind of list of articles that you have written on a blog about certain problems this might also help you convert them because then people will go read it get to more uh, get to know a little bit more about you your articles and uh, what did you write then they might uh, go back to service page and say okay i like this uh, approach i like what he has written if you have some blog posts uh, keep it there for example it would be a good idea to always uh, redirect when you talk about certain topic like for example you have a let's say design system and then you talk in your case study or content you talk about uh, design system and you have a written a written blog article about it you can post it there like a link to redirect read more about this in my blog post this also shows people that okay if you know people tend to think that if you are writing a blog you, you know what you are uh, writing about so they will try they will check it and they will make sure that okay i like what he's saying uh, i want to talk with him so if you have any blog posts then uh, always remember to keep it there show it off also just to make people sure that you know basically what you are doing and what are you talking about in the conclusion as i mentioned before most important thing show people what do you do exactly, how you do it, what is your process, and most important uh, information should be kept on the top. In the headline, very briefly explain what you do, like complex IT solutions, for example, or suit that suits you, something like this, that people know what you are doing on the top, then more information below. If you have any blog posts, keep it there so people can go there and actually easily find some maybe additional information what they are looking for. Then you might create really a service page that will actually convert because in the end, what people
people must do on your service page page is lose their doubts and be sure that you know what you are doing and that you can help them those are those three things so they do not have any doubts they know that they know what you're doing and they know that you can help them if you have those three things and thanks to those lists you might actually achieve them thanks to those things they will convert they will talk to you and then uh, they you will probably discuss details with him so that's all that I have prepared for you today. Thank you very much. We upload new content every Friday, so stay tuned for those. And as always, it was a great pleasure uh, making this video and have a nice day. Bye.